Hey guys, Simon here from WinBeta and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to create hard drive partitions inside Windows 10. So why do we need to partition our drives? It can be for variations of reasons really. Keeping things organized, creating a backup and recovery partition, somewhere to put all your games or other files that no one needs to know about that are just generally cluttering up your OS drive and you'd rather have them somewhere else. So it can be for the drive you currently have, if you only have one hard drive, it can be a multitude of hard drives, you can have lots of different petitions on all of them. Just makes things a little bit easier to keep yourself organized really, I guess. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we have enough space on our drive that we want to petition. It's pretty simple to check that. So what we do is head down to Cortana, type in admin, and it will give us this one here, which is administrative tools. We just click on that. And then we get presented with this big list here. The one we want is computer management. This will now open up another window. Then on the left hand side, we'll see a bunch of things here. The one we want is storage and then disk management. So your computer will take a couple of seconds just to get all the drives into gear, if you will, and find all the information it needs. So at the top here, we see all the drives that are currently inserted into our computer, either via internally or via USB. So it could be USB flash drives and USB hard drives, as well as the actual hard drives that are installed into the machine itself. So the one I'm going to be using here is obviously the C drive, because it's the only hard drive I currently have at the moment. And then we're going to go down to here where it says disk zero. It probably say disk one, disk two, disk three, depending on what drive you are currently trying to partition. So what we need to do here is right click on it and press shrink volume. Now this is going to query the volume for available shrink space, which is pretty much what it's doing right now. It can take a couple of seconds, so don't worry the computer hasn't frozen or anything like that, just bear with it. So once that's done, we'll then be presented with this screen here. Now the one we want to look at is enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. So thankfully mine is saying that it can shrink it to 70 gigabytes, which is cool. Um, and then the total size of the shrink, which is the current partition that we have now, will then be reduced to 44 gigabytes. I don't want to go that extreme, I actually want some of my hard drive to have some leeway, if you will. So I'm only going to put in 8 gig, which is obviously 8,000 megabytes. And then the total size of the partition will then be 100 gig, more or less, which is absolutely fine. And then it will create a partition for us on this drive of 8 gigabytes. So once that's done, all you need to do is press shrink. Obviously, you don't need to do 8 gigabytes, you can do whatever you so desire. The computer will sit here for a second or two just thinking about what it's trying to do. It hasn't frozen or anything, don't worry. Try to refrain from clicking around and using it just for a minute because it is shrinking your hard drive. Um, it's playing around with boot petitions and stuff like that. So the last thing you want to do is crash it out. It doesn't happen, but just to be safe. And then you'll see here, we now have this little block here that says unallocated space of 7.81 gigabytes, which is what we want. That's absolutely fine. Once we've done that, we hit right click and then go to new simple volume. We'll then be presented with this little wizard here. Just press next. It will give us this display here. It will say simple volume size in megabytes, which is 8 gig, which is what we did earlier. That's fine. Just press next. And then we'll be presented with this window here, which lets us assign a drive letter. You can be as creative as you like here. So I'm going to have Z. Why not? Just to live on the edge, I'll call it drive Z. And then once you've done that, you just press next. And then you want to format the volume with the following settings as well. So if you want NTFS, go ahead and select that. If you want FAT32, Again, go ahead and select that. Allocation unit size, you may as well just leave as default. It's not really relevant. And then the volume label, you may call your drive whatever you like. So let's call it Uber Cool Drive. There you go, the Uber Cool Drive. Um, it will say perform a quick format. You may as well leave that clicked. It doesn't matter too much if you do a quick format or a normal format in this case. So we'll go ahead and press next. It will then give us a message here with everything that we've just been through. So make sure that's all good to go and then go ahead and press finish. It will now once again sit here hanging and you can see lots of things are going on here where it's formatting the drive etc. And then hopefully Windows will detect that. Oh Dropbox has decided it wants to throw itself at me as well. And then we can see that that black bar is now gone. It is now an active partition. So if we now go into File Explorer, ignore this. This will probably pop up so you can just ignore that. You don't need to format it because we've just done it. Go into this PC. And there we go, uber cool drive Z, ready for all of the Zing uber coolness, whatever something of less than 8 gig will require. But there you go, that is how you partition your hard drive in Windows 10. Very, very easy indeed. But what I'm going to do now is now show you how to reverse partitioning your hard drive, just in case it's not the right space. So it's relatively simple. We'll go back into this window here under computer management, right click on the new partition that you've just created, and then press delete volume. Uh, deleting the phone will erase all data, obviously, back it up, etc, etc, etc. Do you want to continue? Yes. 
It will then take it back to unallocated space. So that's absolutely fine, that's what we need. We right click on the active partition, which is the C drive here, and then go to extend volume. Press next, and then it will say selected disk of 8,000 megabytes, which is the eight gig that we allocated earlier. Just press next, and then press finish, and it will then put that eight gig back into the normal partition. Voila, happy days. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you found it extra helpful and want to see more of these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.